Hi everyone, this is update 12 for the Cheltenham Festival of uh, 2020. Today we'll talk about days 3 and 4. We've done day 1 and 2. Just my thoughts on those. Quickly reflect on the uh, bets and the bank. Before I go through all that, I'll talk about uh, a couple of things. So I, I might do a daily uh, video with a lucky 15 on it. That won't be coming out of the bank. That's just going to be a fan lucky 15 um, that I'll put up. And you guys can put up what you uh, fancy in the comments. We'll see if anyone can actually pull off a big winning bet or not. With a lucky 15 or a Yankee or three doubles in the treble. Whatever you want to do. Um, I know that I still have quite a chunk of the bank to put off yet um, that those bets will be going out soon but last season I was very fortunate in picking two winners out of three just before the festival one at 16s and one at five so um, just because the bets haven't gone out doesn't mean uh, that I'm not confident or that I'm not thinking I'll pick some winners I just haven't seen the bets I want to see the makeup of certain races and until I do I'm not going to put bets out just for the sake of it. I said that last week and I'm not going to do it. We had a bank of 400 the last two festivals. They did well. Profit. Um, but And I upped the bank to 500. But I won't put the 500 off. If I don't see the bets. So watching a lot of previews. Watching a lot of preview nights. A lot of podcasts. And a lot of YouTube videos. And don't discount the YouTube vi uh, videos. If someone's got 20 subscribers. Because I watched a really good video from a lad who had 20 subscribers uh, two nights ago his name was uh, let's bet racing and it was really informative on the handicappers and the handicap marks and the horses he fancied i know he fancied a couple i fancy so that probably made me think oh he's quite good and <laughs> maybe he's just as bad as i am but anyway um yeah that's my plans for the next few days because i'm not actually attending the festival it's really exciting time for those that are and even just for racing fans in general, everyone gets excited about the Cheltenham Festival. It is the most exciting of times. We are trying to make some money, but we're also trying to enjoy it as well. And there's some fabulous fabulous races coming up. I mean, in the mares, it could be Honeysuckle against Benny. Uh, in the Champion Chase, you've got the three top horses in the, uh, Britain and Ireland riding against each other. That's going to be a great race. And... For me on these videos I'm trying to balance now between the caddies who I made the videos for originally who just want a steak and a, and a horse's name and 500 subscribers who know quite a lot about racing and want to know why I'm betting the horses I am. So just sort of bear with me a bit on that because you know they're saying the videos are too long and the caddies they just want a name and a, a steak and yet other people want you to go into depth about why you fancy a horse, so it's like a bit of a balancing act at the moment. So anyway, I'll uh, quickly run through my thoughts for day three and four now. None of these are bets. We've had our bets. Honeysuckle for the mares. Dulcita for the mares novice. Lost in translation for the gold cap. And Riders on the Storm each way for the Ryanair. And you'll have to go back through if you want to see why I've chosen those. They're all intended runners at the moment although honeysuckle may switch the rest are definitely intended runners and um, at the moment honeysuckle is uh, intended to go to the mayors whether that will change or not who knows so quickly on to the thursday of cheltenham the marsh chase i think it's quite apparent i've fancied uh, aloho now but it doesn't look like aloho is going to run so if you back him make sure you do it non-run or no bet and you'll have to check that you get the money back into your account. Riders on the Storm, like I said, I heard a positive update. Nigel Twist and Davis thinks it's the, his best chance of the meeting. They are talking the horse up, even though he had that tough race at Ascot. I really didn't want him to go there, but he did, and he won. And if it hasn't left the mark, he's got a good chance. In the Brown Advisory Plate, I think Gigginstown are going to target this race. I don't know which horse. But as soon as I get some sort of inkling and a horse that I think's got good form and sort of maybe hiding a little bit of ability somewhere, then I'll be uh, maybe putting a bet out on one of their horses in that race. It just depends. It may be that they aren't going to target the race, but if they do, 
I'll be interested in that race. In uh, King Muir, Kilfulham Cross was uh, a horse I talked about but the price contracted. And I've also looked at Art the Acorn and its price is also contracted so I've left the bet at the moment. And um, at the moment we have no bet in that race. It could be that we pick another horse if there's a value horse that I see that's got a good booking. Jockey bookings are important in that race. You need a good amateur. And at the moment we don't know who will ride any of the horses so at the moment it's a powder dry Thursday. Well we've got two bets on the Thursday but there's certainly none today. On the Friday I was going to put out latest exhibition. His price contracted and I decided against the bet. Was going to put him up at 16 to 1. He came into 12s. He's now 7s. That's a fair price but it's not a great price. It's a fair price. He's still my idea of the horse I would back in the race. I haven't backed any. Um, lost in translations are gold cap bet. I've seen another video today where people are saying that uh, Richard Johnson doesn't think the horse will stay. Well, I'm sure he'd take the ride if he was offered it. So we'll see what happens with that. That's his opinion. Seemed to stay well enough in the bet for a chase. Um, I certainly wouldn't be going against him in the gold cap and I wouldn't back anything else at the moment. But he's gone out in odds. He needs to get his uh, um, season back on track after his run in the King George. But he's perfectly capable of doing that. The two handicap horses that I've looked at, I talked about one last week. I said I'd backed front view, just didn't know where he was going to go. Uh, I backed him any race at 12 to 1. His hardly needs to brush up, but he's a good horse. Hopefully Joseph O'Brien will brush up in his hardling. Now the big yards win big uh, win the handicaps as well as the big races. They win the handicaps. 7 out of 10 last year went to the big yards. So don't discount second or third strings. William Henry was the third string last season for Nicky Henderson. And he won the Coral Cup. And um, in the county I quite fancy um, Willie Mullins Aramon. But he'll have a few runners in that race. And uh, don't discount any of them because Willie Mallins and Nicky Henderson will target this race this year, especially as Dan Skelton has won it the last twice and they don't like that. They won't like that Willie Mallins targets this race and I think him or Henderson will win it this year. So at the moment, no bets. I know the Cardies are desperate to bet, but I know that their fans are down. And I'm keen to bet as well, but I'm not putting anything up at the moment. I did well late last season putting bets up for the festival and we will try to get winners that we can put up as soon as possible. I'm hoping to have my auntie post or the bets for the festival up by Sunday or Monday night and then maybe we won't, maybe we'll have to leave 50 quid till Tuesday or Wednesday until I see the final decks for Thursday and Friday. And apart from that, we'll put up a daily Lucky 15 if everyone wants that sort of thing put up. I know people ask for it earlier in the season. So for now, let's just enjoy the fact that the festival's nearly upon us. We've had a great season so far. Hopefully we can make uh, some sort of money at the festival, come out with a profit. And um, maybe someone's going to put up a Lucky 15 in the comments that's going to come in and someone's going to make a lot of money. But hopefully the videos will make some money. So for now, it's uh, just me saying have a good week again, but we will be having a bet very, very soon. So, yeah, until then, you know, enjoy the build-up to the festival. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back to you very soon. Bye for now.